So there are a lot of reasons for that. And yesterday, like you said, India broke the global record, reporting over almost 79,000 new COVID cases in just 24 hours, exceeded the, exceeding the U.S. record from mid-July, mid which was around 77,000. So in total, we've surpassed the 3.5 million mark, though the number does include recoveries. In terms of how badly India ranks in the ladder, we're just trailing behind the U.S. and Brazil. As you mentioned, the Indian government also announced guidelines for unlocking the economy further on the same day that we broke this record. So they've been issuing guidelines for a gradual unlocking now for a few months. So we've had three stages so far where more economic and public activity has been resuming. This is phase four that we're in right now. One of the biggest changes uh, in this unlock guideline is that states can't impose lockdown in areas outside of containment zones. So th those are areas that have confirmed cases of uh, COVID. So this will essentially limit the preventive measures that states can take. And then uh, the other thing is, is that the metro rail is supposed to be opening again from next week, from uh, 7 September, which given the rate of infection right now might not be the best move. Furthermore, uh, social, academic, sports, entertainment, cultural, religious, political functions can be held again with a maximum of uh, 1,000 people from September 2nd. So uh, the reason that, it's, uh, that the numbers are explode, exploding is because maybe, uh, possibly, the lockdown was a little bit early. And now, to restart the economy, we need to open things up. But that might come at the cost of uh, a higher infection rate, which it looks like it's going towards. And, dear, that's the national picture. Tell us a bit about which regions, which areas, which cities are worst affected. So there are pockets here, certain states which are more badly affected by others. Maharashtra in the west, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Delhi, Orissa and Telangana. The most pronounced rise in COVID cases is being seen in the western state of Maharashtra, uh, capital is Bombay, uh, where they've reported more than 16,000 cases just on Saturday alone. And here in the capital, we're seeing very different trends. Uh, tre trend. Delhi locals had been celebrating a de decline in cases since uh, the end of June. You could see people out shopping, sitting down together for a meal quite openly in the last month. But now that's reversing again, and we're seeing an uptick suddenly in the rate of infection. So one of the hypotheses is that interstate travel loosened up quite a bit. We've also have had migrant workers travel back from their villages back to the capital, back to bigger cities like Bombay to look for work again, and the cases are increasing. And considering that more public services will be open soon, the danger is that the number will spike again. So, I mean, basically for India, uh, despite various pockets, it's the vast vastness in the population which will mean that this pandemic is probably going to last a very, very, very long time, uh, even if the rate of infection uh, stays stable. Dear, thank you very much, dear Gupta.